should be filming this. Action. Alright, here we are, buddy. We're into the ocean tour. Yeah, this was just station to ocean. No, Suburg. Oh, yeah. Okay. Is it You've probably heard that saying about Minnesota weather. What's that? A whale? Like Wait five minutes and it will change. Well, the ocean shark. is kind of like that. That's a shark. Yeah. You gotta listen to the it narration. It can gently ripple with tranquil shades of blue. And it can flex its muscles with powerful storms. For as shifting as the seas are above the water surface, much of the ocean's diversity lies below. This watery world houses a kaleidoscope a of species, coming up. including darting penguins, steely sharks, gliding sea turtles, splendid seahorses, and fluttering stingrays, stingray each here. perfectly adapted to its habitat. One of the most common aquatic adaptations is countershading. Countershading is a type of camouflage where an animal has darker coloring on the top of its body and lighter coloring on its underside. Take the African penguin, for example. A lamb is like a sore thumb. However, when gliding That's through the sea, its coloring makes it difficult for predators to spot. When viewed from above, so the black feathers on its back help it to blend in with the dark that? ocean waters below. What is that animal? Lemur. Green Minnesota winters have got you down. Well, then let's take yeah. a trip to the colorful tropics. Is this the Minnesota Sioux Christmas tropics, light show? Yeah. Yep. Called Nature Illuminated. Wow. Well, that description is not that far off. <laughs> Look, a frog. From its upper level down to the ground floor. It's an environment made up of four distinct layers from top to bottom. Yeah. Emergent layer, canopy, understory, and forest floor. Towering trees that reach 200 feet above the ground make up the emergent layer. The animals that live here must have the ability to fly. Or be small, excellent climbers. Over there, eating. Squawking parrots, showy cockatoos, and tiny primates are some of the wildlife that live in this layer. The canopy contains more animals and plants than any other rainforest layer. In fact, the canopy leaves the are so eating. dense that it's hard for animals to find each other. As a result, some birds and monkeys right? have to communicate. I don't know, why don't you listen to the narration? The silence law really peacefully it, sleeps, snacks, yeah, well, we and hangs out when you're in the canopy too. Oh, come on. Stop. Beneath the canopy, the understory is a shady Help layer made in. of shrubs, climbing plants, and smaller trees. Bats, hummingbirds, snakes, and jaguars are found here. Ring-tailed lemurs cross this layer as they travel between the canopy and forest floor. Due to lack of sunlight, the forest floor has few live plants, scurrying rodents, crawling insects, and bright red tomato frogs, like the oversized one seen at Nature Illuminated. Hide under the layer of mud or...